Hey everyone, welcome back to Iceman Universe with another TV reaction and today we're gonna do episode 10 for season 1 of Ed, Ed and Eddie. Now, if you didn't watch my last video where I watched episode 9, I thought it was pretty boring, you know, nothing nothing very enjoyable, you know, for me to discuss about, really. It kind of made me feel like I was watching a filler episode from the Pokemon anime and not the good kind. So, yeah, like I said, you know, boring nonetheless, but, you know, I'm hoping this episode won't be the same thing, you know, won't be so boring. Hopefully it can be pretty enjoyable. If you guys are enjoying my reaction content so far and you want to see more, then please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and comment down below if there are some other TV shows or along with movies and trailers I should react to next. And if you guys want to watch this episode and upcoming episodes in their full length forms on the channel, then please click the link to my Patreon page in the description below and become a member today. And with that being said, let's get this reaction started. This is episode 10 for season 1 of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. A glass of warm Ed. Why does Double D have his window open? Yeah, labeling stuff in your room is kind of over the top for being neat. Oh, now he realizes. Is he using his cactus as a weapon? Uh oh. Why do I have a feeling it's Ed? I knew it was Ed. I, I can tell by his feet. Oh dear, an intruder eating all the food out of my refrigerator. It's bare feet! So unsanitary. Hmm? Huh? The... I've got a cactus. Oh. Wait, it, it's gotta be Ed. I just know it is. Aha! Ed? You practically scared me out of my one size fits all pajamas. Yeah. Do you know what time it is? No, he doesn't. Is he sleepwalking? Oh my gosh. Um, Ed? Don't, don't make me use it. Oh my god. You ain't Jim. Ed, cacti have feelings just like you. Hold it right there, Mr. Ed. Where are you going with all my food? Oh my gosh, Ed. Ed, come back here and close this refrigerator door! He's really out of it. Ed, I need to wake Eddie from yeah. Paradox. Uh, He's fast asleep Eddie, too, isn't away. he? This is an emergency. It's Ed. Who turned off the sun? Good, you're awake. We have a problem, Eddie. Ed was in my house, my kitchen, my refrigerator. But well, he doesn't seem interested. And I usually like to get eight hours of sleep, but Ed was eating, has taken all my food. I asked him, talked to him, but no reaction. Ed is sleepwalking. I don't think he's listening to a word you're saying, Double D. Wait, Ed was in Eddie's what house? With all my food? Ed is like a swarm of locusts ready to purge the cul de sac and all its good people of their food. You know, you scare me when you talk like that. Let's go see what Big Ed's up to. Oh, he's going into Naz's house. Oh my gosh. What? He stole the whole fridge. He scarfed the whole fridge. And that's not a good thing. Okay, whose house is he in now? I hope he doesn't wake Jimmy. This is it's, not good. It's Jimmy's house, okay. So what, they're just gonna sit here and watch him eat everybody's food? Oh, brother. That was very good. I can't figure out where he's putting it all. Where'd he go? Oh, no. He can't. What is a hideous odor? Santa? <gasps> Oh my gosh, he's trying to eat Jimmy! <laughs> Good thing I'm a man of the world. I'm terrified beyond rational thought. I can't look. He spit Jimmy back out. Yeah. Let's go. I don't want to miss Ed getting heartburn. Look at all this. Oh Ed must gosh. have built the whole neighborhood of its food. Sleepwalking and eating everyone's food is one thing, but littering. Oh yeah. Out, Double D. Woo! And ate a whole box of bran muffins. This could be dangerous, Eddie. Oh, yeah! This mess should lead us right to him! 
Is he? He's back in his house, isn't he? I would not eat that. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it seems quite content among all that food. Yeah, like a beached whale. Oh, Ed, Ed. Wake up, Goldilocks. Oh my gosh. Oh, now he's awake. Hi, guys. Ed, do you know that you walk in your sleep mm -hmm. and that you have consumed all the food within a five block radius of your bed? Not only that, but I feel as though I consumed all the food within a five block radius of my bed. He just says that. Oh, Jim got a haircut. Don't you remember anything, Ed? You were great. Apparently. You ate everything, including Jimmy. Guess he doesn't remember at all. <gasps> Jimmy, don't tell Sarah! <laughs> he thought he ate don't Jimmy! Worry. We're gonna sleep over so we can keep an eye out for you. Got any extra blankets? Ah! Look at all the food! Oh my god! Oh, made time for bed. <sighs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Even tying him up doesn't work. Uh, Eddie, Ed's walking in his sleep again. Oh no. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Ed. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that a boy, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, brother. Oh my gosh, Ed, why? Oh, that big luck's cracking me up. I He's starting to crack me up to too. Why? Oh my gosh. I mean, Ed hates. Ed probably hates being clean, so. So I'm sure he would pick up that sense. Oh, that's genius. You must be a riot at party, Double D. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I got him! I got him! Oh my gosh, he hates so much he can't get it. Oh, they're gonna break the window! Oh no. Bed isn't going anywhere. We got him right where we want him. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Holy mackerel! Where's all my food? Red food! Huh? Cheap prices! Ah. Get your groceries at Edmark! Oh, the guys are gonna try to give him his food back. Oh, they're making a scam out of it, aren't they? Ed Smart. That's a good name. Good morning, Johnny boy. What can I get you? Eddie, you wouldn't happen to have your, your favorite chunky puff. Sure. That'll be fifty cents. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, just checking our inventory, and uh, we'll be back momentarily. Oops. He's looking inside Ed, isn't he? Mm. Aha. Here we go. Oh, that's gross. Here you go, Johnny. Would you like milk with that? Can't eat cereal without milk. Oh man. Flea bin Ed. Okay. Hammer on now, hammer on now. How's oh. it look, Eddie? Oh. Oops. Uh, sign's upside down, you dumbass. <laughs> Ed, you put the sign on upside down. Yeah. Oh, I put the sign on the garage. Just upside down. Over, <sighs> I think I'm ready to tackle anything with my fine assortment of short and long, hard and soft hair brushes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Huh? I flipped it. Not that, that way. Ed's pet boutique is open for business. <laughs> A pet boutique, huh? They're absolutely filthy. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Okay, <Goodbye>. <laughs> hey, what's oh, Rolf making? Animal? He's making shoes? Oh my gosh. We're here to assist you, Rob. And we have the only pet cleaning service in the neighborhood. I put up the sign. Seriously, Ed is just so much. I feel like he's a lot more quotable than Patrick from pre-movie SpongeBob. That would give me more time to watch the curd rise from the cheese. Okay, he's going along with it. Oh. Press two, press one. Holy 
chicken shower. What? 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 Ed, let the chickens bathe in privacy. You're embarrassing them. <laughs> I won't tell, okay? Whoa! Sorry. Sorry. Oh, so Eddie's polishing the pig. <laughs> that good looking guy. Shiny. Why do he has precious on his head? Why does he have brushes on his head? I think that, that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Oh my gosh. Keep up the good work, boys. Well, you slack off. <laughs> I think they're painted on, Eddie. Don't you think this would be a good time to wash Victor? Yeah, yeah. You're worse than my mother. <laughs> Double D, where's the eyeliner? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Ed! Cow is clean now. But those poor rabbits have been calling for you all day. Those aren't rabbits. Those are bunnies. It's the same thing. Oh, Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bunny. <laughs> that. Oh, bunnies are so furry and so soft. Ed. What the? <laughs> Double D. More bunnies? Was I supposed to clean? Okay, I'm stopped. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is he having an allergy? Like, is he allergic to rabbits? Oh my god. I sneezed. I sneezed. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. This has got to be an allergic reaction. Holy shit! What? Are we done? Look! Help! I am a blub! Oh Help gosh. me, guys! Wow, I am so itchy. <laughs> I poke a hole in him and let the air out. Still itchy. The pressure could cause him to explode. Come on, guys! Uh -oh. All right, all right. Here I come, Butterball. Fire <laughs> double D. Oh no! I got him! I got him! Yeah, I Whoa! Can't hold you much longer, Eddie. Uh, double D. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> We're about to make contact. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm a pigeon. Don't oh. lay an egg, bird brain. <laughs> okay, that was a good joke. <laughs> I'm a swan. We gotta figure out what's wrong with Bloat Boy. More like you gotta cure him. Bingo. This ought to hold you. All set, Double D. So, how are they gonna treat him? Dr. Double D emergency, paging the head of surgery with all the top degrees to the living room stat. Oh, wow. Eddie. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. This is very strange. Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, flashlight, please. Eddie, you're not paying attention. Flashlight, please. Flashlight. Thank you. Nurse. Nurse? Nurse Eddie. <laughs> Close, please. Lights, please, nurse. Apparently, Eddie doesn't like being called a nurse. Oh! Lights, please. What is wrong with me, Dr. Surgeon Head? Just one more test. Oh, look, it's a bun! <laughs> oh. Yep. He's allergic to rabbits. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, my. Double Dr. D. You appear to be allergic to rabbits, Ed. So now I figured it would be. Double meat patty. We'll have to treat him immediately, Eddie. Oh, scratch me, I'm itchy. I don't think scratch me's gonna help. <laughs> it's not crazy. Coming right up, Dr. Doubleman. Oh, that's real good, Eddie. That should really... Oh! Uh, Shout if you need more! Guys, my mom always uses talcum powder for itching. Eddie, could you please fill the talcum powder dispenser? Yeah, yeah. Better not call me nurse. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. That's gonna take forever. But it will provide an even equal distribution. Time is money, Double D, and I love money. Daddy! He's doing too much, don't you think? How come I'm still big, guys? I should reduce the swelling. <laughs> Bingo, socket! This ice bag should do it. And with my modifications to this refrigerator, we'll have plenty of ice. <laughs> Double T, just turn it off. There you go. Should have thought of this in the first 
place. Oh. We need to protect Did it work? Those allergies, Ed. Jimmy cracked corn and I don't care. Oh, it worked. Okay. <laughs> this allergenic containment center should take care of you, Ed. Bring them on. We've wasted too much time. Let's get these animals back to Rolf so we can collect our loot. Whoa! I'll take the one on the What line. the? Seems like Mr. and Mrs. Oh Bart my gosh. The multiplication table. Oh no. Avalanche! Yeah, you better run, Kevin. Oh. Huh? There's a documentary on Mollus. Hey, shut your yap! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! All right, guys. So that was episode ten for season one of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and I gotta say that was really good. I mean. I was hoping it would be better than episode 9 and and thank goodness I hoped for that. I thought both episodes were really good and really funny. I mean, you know, the way Ed was sleepwalking while trying to eat their everybody's food and of course, you know, yo know, Eddie and Double D trying to you know, cure Ed from his um, you know, rabbit allergic reaction. That was really good. Really thoughtful plan and you know, pretty fun pacing nonetheless. So, yeah. That's probably all I have to say about this video. If you guys enjoyed this video so much and you want to see more, then please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and comment down below what you thought of this episode. And be sure to become a member on my Patreon page to watch this video in its full length form and get early access to upcoming content. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next reaction.